Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of setting up a decal system, and we're going to do it with bullet hole decals just because they're common and simple, but there's no reason you couldn't swap this out with any other type of decal. Um, if you want a more advanced decal system, I'd look at the asset store. There are some really good options on there that wrap around objects and cut the decals and make everything fit right. This is going to be a, a much simpler, just basic implementation, show you exactly how to get started with this stuff. So what I've got here is just a basic system where I can click and put down bullet holes. So you can imagine this would work fine with um, a gun doing a ray cast or anything else. Anywhere where you have a point and you want to put a decal there and have it face the right direction. All right, we put a decal right there and it faces, oh, this is on a clear plane apparently. It's a collider there. But anywhere where there's a collider, it'll just pop up and face the correct direction. Like here, it's on the floor or here it's facing outwards towards us on the wall. So how does the system all work? Let's take a quick look. In here we've got an environment scene and this is just what's letting me move around and rendering out this environment all from an asset pack for a hydro power station. I just searched for something outdoors and industrial and this popped up, seems like it works fine. And then we have a decal placer game object here with a decal placer script on it. And you see here it's got a reference to a single prefab, this bullet hole decal prefab. So instead of showing you exactly how that works what i like to do is just start this over and go through the steps to recreate it now so here we are in the scene without the object and without the prefab and we're going to start by creating the decal prefab so go to game object go to 3d object and create a quad quads just a square or rectangle with two triangles that we use to drop a texture on it's only visible from one side if you look over here you can see it if i go behind it you see right through it only renders on this one side now to set this up, what we want to do is put on a bullet hole decal image. You can't see it here, but if I click the little box here, you can see it's just a cutout of a bullet hole. Now I'm going to take this and just drop it right onto my quad, and it's solid black. Not exactly what I want, but if I click on it and expand out the material, which is also in this materials folder, this bullet hole decal material, but I'm going to do it right from the quad. What we can do is change the render mode from opaque to cutout. And now you see that the transparency is used and we just have a black spot here that looks somewhat like a bullet hole. It's a little bit big, but we'll adjust that in a moment. Now let's rename this to bullet hole decal. There we go. And turn it into a prefab. I'm just going to drop it down into the project view so it becomes a prefab. It'll turn blue and we see it down here. Now what I want to do is be able to place this decal, just place a new instance of this wherever I click. So that's where we're, this decal placer script is going to come in. Now I'm going to create a new game object and name it decal placer. And I'm going to add this script and then we're going to go through the contents of the script and see exactly how this works. All right, here we go. We're in the decal placer script and let's just kind of hide some of this less important stuff. And You'll notice first we have a reference to a decal prefab. We're just taking in a game object. We could also just use a transform or um, a uh, sprite, no, an image. Uh, but we're, we're not using any of that stuff right now. We just need a game object. It doesn't really matter what it is. Our decal doesn't have any script on it or anything. So it's just game object reference with the serialized field attribute so that it shows up in the editor while still being private. Since we don't want anything messing with our prefab, we only want it being used inside this class. So keep it private. Now in the update method, you just check to see if they left click. If you left click, so again, this would be replaced with like a bullet shot or a gunshot, I mean, or, or some other action in your game. No, but in this sample, if you left click, we create a ray cast hit object. And then we create a ray using camera.main.screen point to ray and pass in the mouse position. This will just give us a ray straight from where we clicked into the world. And then we use physics.raycast pass in the ray and as the out parameter we use the hit info so that this will get filled if it's true so if we did hit something with our ray we're going to get back the hit info which is going to have the point and the normal info and we're going to use that to spawn the decal so if this is true if we hit a collider when we clicked we call spawn decal and pass in the hit info down here you'll see that we just instantiate a new instance of the decal prefab we set the position to the hit info dot point so this is exactly where we clicked. 
And then I set the forward to the normal times negative one. This is just gonna flip it over. If we don't do this, it would just do the normal. The decal is gonna be upside down and we're gonna see the backside, which as you saw a moment ago, you can't actually see anything. So the decal wouldn't be visible. So we just need to flip it over. So we do it just like that, just multiply by negative one and it'll flip it right over. Now let's go back into the editor and see how this works. So if we select the decal placer, we need a reference to the decal prefab. So just take the bullet hole decal prefab, drop it right in there. And I'm gonna delete the decal that's in the scene since we don't need that floating around. And I'm gonna save and then play and let's see what happens. So we play and go to the game view. I'm gonna go over to this building and start clicking. And you may notice that some of these clicks, we're not seeing anything. So sometimes we see things, sometimes we don't. Um, and these objects are getting placed. You see it up here right here. This one's kind of cut off on the bottom. So if I go take a look at these in the game, you see, oh, look at all that Z fighting. So what's happening is that they're at the exact same position and they're rendering same time and they're just kind of fighting on which one's going to be on top. So a couple ways we could fix this. The hackiest and cheapest way is to just kind of move it off a little bit. So in the code, we'd move it and offset it a little bit, but this introduces other problems where people could see like a little bit of a gap in between the decal and the floor or the decal and the wall, and it looks a little bit weird. So instead, what we can do to fix it is use this uh, blended decal shader, and I'll link this in the description so you can swap it in on your own projects. And if we change the material here, so just change this bullet hole decals material to use the blended decal, all of a sudden our decals look right and they're no longer Z fighting, they're not in the wall or under the wall or cut off or anything like that. Now the last thing I wanna do here is just adjust the size of these. These decals are huge. Let's just shrink them down to about 0.25. Hit play again, start shooting and um, yep, my material change is saved off since that's a material down in the project view. So we don't have to redo anything there and I can click and place some bullet holes. Now, um, if you're building this into a, a real game or real system, one thing that'd be important to do is pool these decals and don't just keep creating new ones because then you still have to find a way to clean them up and you're generating some garbage, causing garbage collection on some apps, some systems that can be a big deal. So ideally what I'd recommend is setting up a decal pool. Um, I'll link to my pooling videos. It's really simple to set them up though. And then just pull a decal from the pool, put it into the world and then just kind of cycle through those. And that's kind of, you may see this in a lot of other games where you start shooting and old bullets start disappearing over time, bullet holes do. And what's happening is they just get pulled back into the pool and reused somewhere else. So um, yeah, this is kind of the, the basic system. Again, I'd check out the asset store if you want to do really, really advanced decals, cool decals that fold around corners or other stuff. It's quite a bit more work, not super hard, but you know, it, it's worth checking those things out. They seem like a, a good option for that. So hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, if you have questions, drop them below. Uh, I'll put links to the stuff I use down here, down in the description as well. And don't forget to like, share, and um, subscribe. Thanks for watching.